on the beaches right here in Montego Bay, Jamaica, where View Now TV have got some exclusive interviews with some established and upcoming artists. So years have been a, a resurgence of reggae music. Why do you think that is? You see the message, my personal view now, I hope you don't offend nobody who I do the truth. Hey, 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 this is Mr. Mikey G, live in Jamaica for View Now TV. Hi, my name is Mike Garrison, the founder and CEO of View Now TV and ViewNowTVLive.com. Right here in North Africa, because we like to give you news and reports from right around the world, because we have got it going on. Mikey G, Darius Ryder, Brother Blackson, Respect, Channel, Woo! Yeah, now we've got TV, which I think is an excellent company. They're very professional in what they do in our TV. You can see from the way that they deliver their material, it's great. China, um, I'm looking in different places because I know that plus sizes here are suffering, including me. I don't really buy clothes here. I have to always go to America. I have a dressmaker. So that's the move. Plus, I'm going to be doing some health segments soon. 
um, because our people are getting ill. So that needs to be sorted. And there'll be more shows because I still got to bring the boys in town. So the same way how this is an all-female bill, there'll be an all-male bill, which I will be hosting too. So yeah, that's what's, at the moment, that's what's up. But I've got to breathe after this show. Hey, this is Maureen Younger, who's one of the comics. Hello! Who's Shazze Mirza. Shazze Mirza couldn't be here. Hey, girl. Shazze Mirza couldn't be here because she was on tour, so Maureen Younger stepped in. So we thought we'd get the white girl in, yeah? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. we thought we'd get the white girl in. But this is a funding, white girl. Funding, funding, funding. It's all about funding. <laughs> and we want to show equal opportunities and bullshit <laughs> like that because I know she can handle it. Now, Maureen Younger is a white girl that can handle shit. She's mm. been around black people around it for years and she don't say you get me though and think she's black she just knows her <laughs> shit which helps and she brought her mum I said no more please don't bring no, your mum no my mum my mum is I she's like, fine Maureen. I was like more please don't bring your mum you don't understand this is explicit shit more please don't she's like no my mum's fine I was like no she'll be fine she'll be fine she'll be fine she'll be fine because when I fine. start talking about good dick I'm like, how do I say that? She probably give you advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look, I've got to go. You've got to get out of the room, right? Because I've got shit to do. You need to get out because I've got yeah. to change, okay? I've got to go and look sexy and great. So, view now TV. Later. See ya out of here. Okay, I'm going to bring on our host for this evening. The lady that brought comedy to stretch of odium for late night laughter. She's open for artists such as Dwele, Millie Jackson, Jagger Wright, just to name a few. She's also the host for the annual Jerk Cookout for the past few years at Horniman's Museum, guest speaker on Choice FM in the ladies' room, presenter on various radio stations. She is also hosted on Ben TV, No Blink TV and Grab TV. This lady is a plus-size model and went to New York's former figure fashion week last year. She was also compared for the first, UK's first official catwalk for plus size models um, this year as well at the London Fashion Week. Uh, basically there's no escaping this woman. She smoothly moved through the circuit and is now doing her own show. So please join me in welcoming UK's very finest host. Yes, it's that crazy chick, Miss Donna Spade. I've been to uh, like Birmingham, Manchester, not Nottingham. I've been to a lot of places. Too. I like our differences. I like um, I don't know. They give it to you. Like certain audience, they be like, bah, 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 like bumping on the tables and going hard. And then certain audiences can be a bit more proper, a little bit more reserved, and they um, they give you all the love afterwards. Like when you come out, they're like, you were brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah, you were you know bloody brilliant, all this stuff. So I just love them. Yeah. 
Not much. Not much. Every now and again, there's slang differences. Every um, woman in here, I want you to go home. I want you to look in the mirror. I want you to be serious. And I want you to do something for me for one hour. One hour. And don't stop. This is what I want you to do. Y'all serious, y'all. Let me ladies, one hour. Do this. And don't stop. People are people, and comedy is funny. You know what I mean? Like, what I try to do in my comedy is find our commonality. So, a lot of times I don't think about all our differences, unfortunately. I try very much to think about all the things that we have in common. Like, we all need water, food, shelter, love. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All those things. And so, that's what I base things off of. We're all into relationships. We all have a mom, a, a father. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I talk about things like that that we all can relate to. So, instead of thinking about our differences, I like to think about what we have. <laughs> Vanessa, one very funny lady, honey. Okay. Um, I'm a mother, I'm a, a sister, I'm a, a companion, a lover, a friend. Um, I'm God's child. The people that I think that really made me funny were my dad, rest in peace, honey. Um, he's a preacher. He was a DJ first and then a preacher, but he was just so funny and charismatic, and he knew how to move an audience. He knew how to you know, uh, get the, you know what I mean? Get into people's feelings and get you to love them or get you to think. And I love that part about him. It's so very funny. All my drunk uncles. And they would be so much fun and so spirited coming into my household. You know, my mother was so free and allowing us to be who we wanted to be. So I credit my family. My brothers and sisters are hilarious. Oh my God, they're so hilarious. come out and show everybody but I mean I get my inspiration from my family but growing up uh, <laughs> um, uh, we couldn't listen to a lot of profanity again so my father always had to listen to Bill Cosby even though I saw his Red Fox records and stuff um, but I would say Eddie Murphy I was reminded recently of how much I love Eddie Murphy and I say that with a smile on my face from his movies to his skits to just any and everything about that man. Um, I appreciate the fact that he showed us his gift. I don't have to know who you are personally. A lot of people these days get too much in their personal life. His gift, I thank him for that. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, Whoopi Goldberg, love her. Um, uh, Jamie Foxx, when I was a teenager, that Jamie Foxx was everything to me. Um, I would go to school and do all his acts. I had my, um, uh, uh, he had Shanae, or not Shanae, that was Martin. Love Martin, I'm sorry, I left that out. But, um, so Jamie Foxx, Martin, who else? I don't know, and as, when I got into comedy, there were other people along the way, but those were my staples growing up. What next? Taking up the world, baby. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so open to what God has for me. Like, what's next is continue to serve. I believe that what I do as a comedian is provide a, a wonderful service to make people sometimes forget about what you make bread over and to just think about laughter and to be jovial and to not take life so heavy. So no matter where God takes me, I think it's um, all has to do with how I can be of service to the next person. I'm blessed to be a blessing to others. Please make the noise for Queen Aisha! First time I brought my tour, Funny and Stilettos, here. Donna Spence brought it here, and I'm the executive producer of the tour. I haven't really noticed um, too much of a difference, just certain things like you all say, I say pounds, in the US we say pounds, and you all say stones as far as weight. You all use uh, uh, pounds as far as 
money, we say dollars, we say gas, y'all say petrol. So just being aware of those little things, funny is funny otherwise. As long as they understand, I don't care the color, the background, funny is funny. Yes, I do. And see, I grew up with a lot of West Indians and Africans, okay. so I'm very familiar with a lot of the cultures, especially if I'm moving in the those type of cultures. Um, but I went to school with Caucasians, so it's different things like, I ain't the person that's gonna be eating beans in the morning. Like y'all be eating beans in the morning. Where they do that at? Besides, yeah, I don't eat beans in the morning. Things like that. The food, <coughs> the food experience has been a little um, different for me. But if I find a Caribbean restaurant, an African restaurant, I'm good. Excuse me, I'm good. Okay. What are your uh, influences? Um, my, my mom, my parents are definitely my influence. Um, as far as comedians, a lot of comedians, known comedians and unknown comedians. Love them, inspired. Definitely Monique, um, some more, the moms maybe, Bill Cosby, uh, Richard Pryor. So proud of my boy Kevin Hart doing his thing. They sent the telegram and stuff over to South Africa. They're trying to leave to see their so I can't let them down. But that heat. Was a motherfucker. I went over there for six weeks and I ain't lose no weight. <laughs> My niece at the time, she was like five, six, she was devastated. She was like, I see you still today. I'm just hurting. with the, the hook. This is, it was the London at the Broadway Catford Theatre. It was off the hook. They had Vanessa Pratchett and Queen Aisha rolling. Tamika Epsom was on the stage with Kim from EastEnders. It was a, it was just amazing. People loved it and it's so nice and thank you all for your support because you know what? Putting on a show is hard but the fact that you showed so much love, I am so grateful. So Nottingham Playhouse tomorrow. We're at Nottingham Playhouse. I don't know where we're going to get any sleep because guess what? we got to be up early to be in makeup, to be on the road. But we're so proud of you. Thank you and thank you for you now, TV. My name is comedian Vanessa Fraction and I always log on to You Now TV.